Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for October 12 through to October 17. Strong solar activities over the last 36 hours and a strong geomagnetic storm felt here on the Earth. Now we also have a very large coronal hole formation also set to rotate through the Earth facing position during this watch period, represent a potential of one or two earthquakes over seven magnitude for this watch. The last 48 hours have produced three significant earthquakes felt here on the Earth and I do feel this will continue with the potential of much stronger earthquakes in the coming days. This is mainly due to the strong solar activities and also the emergence of coronal hole formations. Now I do feel that the large earthquake that occurred yesterday in the Bellany Islands region may produce a strong kinetic release into the west coast of North America, specifically Southern California or Baja California or down south towards the Gulf of California region. We're now looking at the Australian Pulsation PC3 index where we see a very strong reading registered on the 7th of October on this service. Now this is a precursory signal for the very large earthquake that occurred in the Bellany Islands region yesterday. Now this signal was picked up on the 7th of October, two days prior, and there are other anomalies registered which further support this. We're now looking at a very strong phase scintillation reading registered near the Macquarie Islands region. This is a strong reading which lasted almost 24 hours, one of the strongest for the year. And this also coincided with the strong geomagnetic storm effects that have been felt during this same time period due to a coronal mass ejection impacting the Earth's magnetic field. Now we have had two further spikes on the Australian Pulsation PC3 index which is a concern as they are of greater intensity and I feel there is a potential of a much stronger earthquake to arrive in the coming days, possibly over 7 magnitude based on the intensity of these readings. We're now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor and we see two new coronal hole formations developing in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona which is interesting, they have developed quickly over the last 24 hours. CH540 and CH541. Now the initial coronal hole formation looks to be small but this may produce a strong earthquake potential felt here on Earth with a possible time frame of October 14 through to October 16. Now I have found a strong relationship with earthquakes that occur near the Bellany Islands region and also the Pacific Antarctic Ridge moving northeasterly into the west coast of North America. Now I am concerned that there is a very strong earthquake potential heading that way yet again due to the epicenter location of the earthquake that occurred in Bellany Islands yesterday. Now I do feel there is a potential of a 6.5 to 7 magnitude earthquake heading for Southern California from October 13 through to October 17 and that's the reason for this video. My number one area of concern is for Southern California. I do feel that this earthquake potential will be more than likely in and around this region. Now there have been past earthquakes as far north as Nevada. We see the migration moving through the LA region. Now we also have Sonora, Mexico and the top portion of Gulf of Mexico which may also be in line but the main area of focus I feel will be Southern California for this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and we see strong changes over the last 24 hours on this service due to an impact of a coronal mass ejection on the Earth's magnetic field which has sparked strong geomagnetic storms over the last 24 hours. Solar wind speeds move from 300 to 550 kilometers a second. We're now looking at the annual solar wind prediction animation. It's showing the arrival of a high speed solar wind stream about the buffer of the Earth's magnetic field inside the next 24 hours due to a small coronal hole formation located in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona. Now this large coronal hole formation located in the southern hemisphere should start to influence the Earth with its high speed solar wind stream sometime late on October 14 into October 15. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info or the Solar Trestle Activity Report where we see three coronal hole formations that will be of interest for this watch. The first located in the southern hemisphere and does cover a large region. Coronal hole formation CH539 does look to be geo effective October 13 through October 15. Now looking at this large coronal hole formation located in the southern hemisphere a little bit more closely and after analysis I have targeted a region 11 to 15 degrees south latitude as the main area of focus. Now plotting and mapping this coronal hole formation to the Earth and my number one area of concern is for the South Pacific Islands, more specifically the regions of Santa Cruz Islands, Vanuatu or the Samoa Islands region. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for October 10, 2012. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content and analysis for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.